What's going on, guys? Thank you so much for your love and support. So let's get into your weekend vibes. Now, I was picking up that this could be a time where individuals are feeling somewhat sentimental. I also feel as if there could have been some things that may have occurred last night that really pushed the individual to their breaking point, especially when it comes to conflict. You may have realized how uh, emotionally conflicting being around certain people may have been. I also feel as if you're more aware now of the subliminals that an individual has a tendency to throw when it comes to you. It could be a lot of shade. And you're starting to see that somebody has no problem with being very disrespectful when it comes to your character or how they think about you or even the situation. For some of you guys, you may feel like you're dealing with a very critical or judgmental type of individual. And I feel as if the very individual who may have criticized you or judged you for some of the choices that you may have made, I feel as if this individual is going through their own judgment. Read now, so later. Mm -hmm. I am picking up on some harmonious changes, especially when it comes to communication and friendships. You have been wanting a change when it comes to your inner circle. And for some of you guys, you may just be changing the individuals that you associate with or even hang out with. Somebody also believed a lie. There was a feminine energy who had motive to be deceptive. And so she may have lied on the individual or even lied to individuals about someone in particular. And this person did it because she felt like she could. And I also felt that there was a plan. Someone had a plan. But now I feel like individuals are starting to see that this person, they're not authentic, that they have a tendency to lie to put themselves in a better position. Very manipulative type individual. And this could even be mental manipulation and even emotional manipulation. I do feel like there could have been lessons individuals were having to go through when it comes to their perception of people. Especially individuals who were seeing wolves as sheep and the sheep as wolves. Meaning that an individual may have been looking at people and judging them, their character, based upon the outer appearance, their background, how they communicate. Okay, and definitely could be looks that play a factor in this. The more attractive that an individual may be to other people, the more trustworthy they come across. And I feel as if somebody is having a wake up call, somebody is starting to realize that outer beauty does not equate to someone who is um, trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Now, you may feel as if the people you are around are not your cup of tea. But these individuals actually love everything about you whether you know this or not. So let's get into the message. You could be very cautious right now with people. Mm -hmm. Somebody also has no problem with body shaming individuals. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys may be wearing the color white. This could be a time of healing. Okay. Somebody around you may have been somewhat aggressive. Their actions. Mm -hmm. I see you working through those hard challenges. Could be stressful. Okay. Could be dealing with some paranormal activity. So you could be hearing odd noises. Some of you guys may be dealing with monitoring spirits. 
Okay, somebody feels like they need to look over their shoulder. These spirits are getting your attention for a reason. For some of you guys, you just feel as if this is um, an auspicious time. Pennsylvania may be significant. Okay, confrontation. So, okay, it's conflict. It's funk on site. These could be some aggressive spirits. Some of you guys may also, like let's say you're just sitting in the house and you may hear individuals arguing. This could be neighbors. This could be individuals outside. You hear some type of conf confrontation or conflict amongst people. Okay, somebody is being confronted by the spirits. Mm -hmm. This could have happened last night. This could even be lights flickering. Mm -hmm. Somebody could literally be hearing spirits and this could even be um, arguments, conflict. This could even show up in the dream state for some. Dreams surrounding um, combat battles okay there's a need for you to address some things okay when you confront somebody they start backbiting they go back on what they said it's not what you think it's nothing like that okay this was unexpected unexpected Connecticut could be significant okay pregnancy so somebody is confronting the individual about a pregnancy somebody made a pact when they were pregnant like maybe um, especially if this is somebody's like first child, like maybe they made an agreement like we gonna stick together or be together through anything. Like we're not gonna allow anything to tear us down. Like somebody made a pact with somebody. And it was a recipe for disaster. Bottom of the deck. This could even be like a blood pact, a blood oath. Okay, somebody could have some type of complications or they had complications during their pregnancy or this could have been towards the end. For some of you guys, this is also about something that is about to take off for you. Somebody may try to confront you. This could be about an idea that you may have. Something you're about to give birth to. There's two scenarios here. Okay, so the woman with the braids is the one who's doing the confronting. Mm -hmm. Could even have twists or dreads in her hair. Somebody's responsibilities are about to change, especially when it comes to guardianship. Okay, somebody is being fake. Somebody could have faked a pregnancy. Somebody may have had to have a C-section. Okay, so there's going to be some type of confrontation surrounding a pregnancy and somebody being fake. So either a person lied about being pregnant, could have gotten an abortion, or somebody had a baby, had a C-section. They made a pact with the person that they had a baby with, but this person lied. And somebody could have also gotten a mommy makeover after having a baby. 
-hmm. or a BBL. But there's definitely some discrepancies in somebody's story. Somebody feels intimidated by an individual and this person is trying to do some type of damage control with a tribe. But the individual already has proof that this person was just trying to profit or benefit off of an individual. Somebody was doing this for money. Aquarius season could be significant. You may find yourself or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody lives somewhere that has the um, word lake in it, like Lake Tahoe. Or there's a tide hoe who likes to go to the lake, the beach. Okay, what is this? Give me one more card. Give us one more card. Fuck girl vibes. Okay, low vibrational individual. This is somebody who can't keep their story together, can't keep their shit together. This is somebody who's very flirtatious, could be very dramatic and defensive. This person acts as if they don't care. And that's going to be a recipe for disaster. Mm -hmm. What is this paranormal activity? Okay, regarding the individual's commitment or lack thereof when it comes to financial situations. You could be dealing with the individual who works in the financial field. You may even end up confronting somebody about your money. Somebody invested like a lot of money into a project or a pregnancy. And they were dealing with somebody who was fake. This could have been, like, this person could have been your accountant. There could be some, like, real estate. Okay, somebody, a car dealership. Somebody is a narcissist. Somebody pregnant by a narcissist. This person has commitment issues. Or the parent of somebody's child is a narcissist. Somebody is starting to um, awaken to some things, to some type of sound advice that they may have gotten. What is this fake ass? Okay, this person's mental health. This person may have some mental health problems. Very controlling. This person is worrisome is what I hear. Mm -hmm. New Mexico could be significant. Okay, Pisces, unreliable, Monday. Somebody is looking for some shelter and it's a recipe for disaster, 555, a crisis. Okay, somebody could be dealing with a Pisces. Okay, somebody's a fuck girl. Okay, well baby, somebody don't want you to get this message, honey. What you say, a fuck girl? Somebody's being fake. Somebody is also experiencing paranormal activity because they lack um, the ability to commit to their spiritual practices as well as their spiritual journey. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's conflict when it comes to money. Somebody may call off on Monday. And for some of you guys, you may already have some plans. Okay, paranormal activity. You're dealing with a magician. But somebody is not, again, committed to manifesting what it is that they want. Somebody lacks the commitment. Okay, the King of Cups in reverse, confrontation. Somebody could be confronting the individual about their feelings. They're not really showing feelings, acting like they care. Somebody drinking a lot.
somebody may confront an individual online or about something that they may have seen online. Okay, King of Cups, are you trying to Are you trying to manipulate a situation? Or the situation that you're dealing with? Something has thrown you off. Somebody's been drinking. Hmm. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody has a family or created a family, started a family with a narcissist. Okay, somebody could be pregnant with their second child. Somebody could have recently got a new animal. Okay, a lot of mind games are being played. Especially when it comes to how you're going to move forward with things. Somebody could be mentally exhausted, dealing with family alcoholism could also run in somebody's family as well as manipulation oh somebody manipulated the king of cups into having a family but that's why this person has been drinking okay huh the King of Cups, you could be overspending. Somebody's father is not very emotional, or this King of Cups is not very emotional. Ace of Wands. Hierophant. I mean, Hierophant. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay. Somebody's going to like a, a doctor or some type of government building. Somebody could even be going somewhere to get professional advice. The hermit. This could be an older Pisces. Or you're dealing with the Virgo. Pisces, you need to go within. Something has you defensive. Or if you're dealing with a Pisces, you need to go within and really look at a situation. This person may have you defensive. Okay, a crisis is about to shake some shit up when it comes to what somebody is offering or somebody's mental health. Somebody's got to get a DNC or something. Somebody may have had an abortion. Somebody also took an opportunity. I also hear some bacteria could be growing. Somebody could have had to get something swabbed. Some could have got infected, like, after surgery. Hmm. Okay, Leo. Unreliable. I feel like somebody has to have some type of integrity. Somebody's trying to tame themselves. Because again, they feel like they can't depend on other people. Okay, King of Pentacles. You got two kings here. Somebody could be in a same-sex relationship. But I feel like on Monday here, somebody is in this King of Pentacles energy. Okay, they ready to get money. Somebody got a lot of materials or tools or something. A lot of responsibilities to take care of. Somebody's trying to be strong. Somebody is a provider. Okay, but somebody's not seeing something clearly. There were some illusions. Okay. What is this magician? And the King of Cups. Three of Wands. So this is somebody at a distance. Somebody is trying to manifest an individual. Hmm, but somebody's emotions could be all over the place. 
it could be housing the individual to um, kind of like it's like causing them to be all over the place emotionally going to this king of cups what is this confrontation okay with a king of swords there's some type of regret okay there was a meeting Somebody was talking to like two other people telling them about some of the regrets that they may have in life. Somebody could have a lawyer, a police officer, or even a judge in their family. Okay, a drunk person speaks a sober mind. So somebody got to talking about some type of conflict that they had with another individual as well as their regrets. All somebody can see is everything that they have poured out into a relationship, possibly a friendship. This person is so focused on this that they're not able to see that they have a soulmate. Mm-hmm. Behind them. They got their back. What is this? Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So somebody had a family. Now somebody is single. Okay, somebody's trying to work things out. Okay, but that's 19 pentacles. Somebody's partner could be locked up or in some type of mental facility. Somebody is really in their head about a situation and somebody got a family with somebody, but yet they feel single. Somebody could be like a single parent, even though they are married or in a committed relationship. It's like somebody feels stuck in a situation and they may feel like they don't know how to get out of it, but they do. Somebody feels like a prisoner within their own home or family unit. Okay, you have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So somebody gave a offer or opportunity. It's Queen of Pentacles. Okay, there could also be some people with your job that's fake. Mm -hmm. Okay, Knight of Wands. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, somebody is moving fast on the opportunity. Okay, this person's mental health. Hmm. Somebody's also dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, baby, that is a hell. Or is dealing with one. Okay, somebody wants a relationship that's successful. It's time for you to see this situation from, or have a better understanding of this situation. What does success really mean to an individual? Somebody needs to be wise when it comes to dealing with a fuck girl. Somebody that's fake. Death card. Scorpio. Somebody's putting an end to a connection with an individual could have been very inconsistent with what they were offering. You got three men out here and one woman. And this woman is in a relationship or supposed to be. But she takes an opportunity or this ace of wands. Look, ace of wands is out here with the queen of pentacles and knight of wands. And you got these three men over here. But these three men come before the pregnancy. The King of Cups is in reverse. 
Then you got the King of Swords. This person is dealing with some regret. And then you have the King of Pentacles. This person could be like a business owner. Could be in finance. Financial field. Good with money, property, investments. Things like that. Then you have somebody who's really smart. Could have um, gotten a law degree. And then you have this King of Cups who's in the reverse. Even though this person is sweet, they're nice, loving. They may have a um, alcohol addiction. This Queen of Pentacles, her soulmate is the King of Pentacles. And there's regret here. Now, this King of Cups and this King of Swords, I feel like these people are close. They know each other. The King of Cups and the King of Swords doesn't know this King of Pentacles, this person's soulmate or counterpart. But all of this happens prior to the pregnancy. There was some type of conflict. Somebody could have said something where they were up under the influence where the drunk person speaks a sober mind. This person was speaking from a place of disappointment and regret. Could have been the King of Cups, the King of Swords. Although they feel some type of regret, they're definitely up in their head about this um, individual. The King of Pentacles, they got plans with this Queen of Pentacles. But this is the thing. Next, you have the pregnancy and a family. But somebody feels like they're alone in the situation. And this person is in a head a lot. And this could be about a decision or opportunity that this person took. It was the Queen of Pentacles who took a chance. Somebody's player ways could be coming to an end. Going to this pregnancy, the Eight of Swords, Justice. Somebody in jail, somebody been looking at some um, stuff up online, like Googling some stuff. This could be um, about a person's like family. Somebody about to get their karma. The karmic scales are being balanced. And there's the hair font. Commitment, marriage, happiness, three of pentacles, working together as a team, building together. That's what somebody wants, but they're in this nine of swords energy. They're worried mm -hmm. about an opportunity or an offer. What's this? Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be a little toxic. What is this magician? Seven of Swords, lies. Somebody's lies are coming to the forefront. Like you're starting to see them. Okay, somebody's soulmate, this Queen of Cups. It's like you have no emotional connection to them. This Queen of Cups is connected to this King of Cups. You got too many couples out here. The King of Cups, he has his counterpart. The Queen of Pentacles, she has her counterpart. The King of Swords is the only one out here who ain't got nobody, okay? And I feel as if somebody is going to get through some type of heartbreak or like somebody is getting over some type of lie. Somebody manifested a lying ass soulmate. Could be this Queen of Cups. Somebody trying to heal from a lie. Hmm. Your person was a habitual liar. Mm -hmm. Tower. Recipe for disaster. Somebody's going to hear a big bumping or boom in their house. Mm -hmm. 
It'll be a recipe for disaster, honey. Y'all have a wonderful night, babies. Thank you so much for your love and support. Bye, boo.